<laughs> okay, anyway, thanks. Thank you. So, you may want to get this autograph later. Yeah. No, of course, today, uh, well, I said two books, right? Did I? I did, right? So, I have another one. Now, this one we actually request that uh, you want to actually bring from Jakarta. I don't think it's, uh, well, you probably have not heard about it before, but it's a good time to actually hear from him during the break time. Okay, seriously, there are a lot of new concepts in marketing that you can actually pick up from here. I personally love this book. Okay, it's beside my bed every time. Uh, you know why it's beside my bed, you know? <laughs> because I couldn't sleep most of the time, sorry. It's a bit time story. Okay, I, I'll probably need to give away the another day. What about you, man? You want to tell me your name and what you do? Hi, my name, my name is Ankita Agarwal, and I work with Vanilla Luxury as a digital marketer. Oh, as a digital marketer. So, Stephanie Tai from Singapore Petroleum Company Limited. Singapore Petroleum, hi man. Man, you may want to know that Petronas over here also. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben Lim from IP Academy. Ruben, hi. Uh, Sheila Bowman. That's easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aman Pal from Photo Feature Editor. So, he's a very popular guy. Both of them actually in Yeah. And then Terranis Go from Intellectual Property Management Consultancy. Oh, I get that. Hey, hi. Hi. Okay. IP vendor. Yeah, IP vendor. A value vendor, okay. And then Dominic Lee, head of brand and communication. Hi, Dominic. Good morning. Okay, thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. So, so, so you can get this autograph. Okay. Now, okay, I've given away two books. Uh, but just uh, please allow me to do my job as the president of the Marketing Institute of Singapore. Now, if you know about us, I think we have a lot of old friends here, right, sir? We have a couple of old friends, right? Okay, uh, it's always during times like that that we get together, besides our AGM. Okay, all right. Uh, well, Marketing Institute of Singapore has been around for the past 45 years. We are the national body when it comes to sales and marketing, and we're one of the member um, for, for the AMF, the Asian Marketing Federation, one of the country members. So there are 16 country members within this organization. And A1 actually comes from Indonesia. Uh, his, his, don't say your boss, you're really the CEO. <laughs> your mentor, Pahamawan uh, Katujaya, is also the co-author of the book 4.0, right? So they represent uh, Indonesia, okay? Now, uh, today, of course, we have a panel of good, very, very good experienced speakers that I would like to give acknowledgement. Uh, first and foremost, please help me to give a round of applause. If you want to learn from them, you will hear more from them. They need the energy level from you, right? Otherwise, you, will, you know, as keynote speakers, they need to actually get the energy from the floor itself. So, okay, please give a round of applause to Mr. Seth. Mr. Seth, hey, Chief Representative, Asia Pacific International Trade Association. A great meeting, Okay, and uh, Mr. Riaz Meta. Mr. Riaz? Mr. Riaz, where are you? It's not here? Okay, no worry. Over slap. No, from Ali was like, I'm kidding. <laughs> Mr. Iwan Sutawan, of course, right? Please give a round of applause. <laughs> He's the Chief Operating Officer of Mark Plus Inc. Now, look out for Mark Plus. They are actually one of the biggest agency in Indonesia. Okay? All right? And of course, Mr. Dennis Tan, someone I knew for more than three years. Now, if you have added Dennis on LinkedIn, you'll know that he was from the bank for a long, long, long time. And I didn't knew he was your colleague in Standard Chartered Bank. Okay? All right. Now, MIS, uh, if you have to know more about MIS, we are actually a not-for-profit organization. So in other words, we are here as a volunteer. All right? And if you'd like to join us, right, please find out more about MIS. We have our counters right at the entrance. How you can join us as members, okay? And how we get together as members, right, we share. We share our knowledge. Now, on top of that, we do have an education arm. Okay, I'm not doing hard sell or something, I'm just saying. We do have an education arm, uh, what we call the continuous or the uh, EDS, all right? The Executive Development Program. That's where, like, you know, you, I always pick up a lot of courses from MIS. You know, I was like you, in fact. You know, I wasn't a member then. So when I pick up courses, I find that it's a value organization that I can join as a marketer. Because this is how we always upgrade our knowledge, okay? All right, and of course today I just want to acknowledge, you know, the breakfast that you have and the lunch. All right, um, thanks to um, MC, MC Events, right? Do I pronounce it right? So, Amici. Sorry, MBG. Amici. Oh, okay, MBG, MBG Events and Catering, where are you? 
Are they around? They're outside. Oh, they're outside. Okay, thanks to them for uh, for, for sponsoring our, our food and stuff. Now, of course, today we're talking about what? We're talking about brand risk, right? In the 21st century. Now, what, you know, everything that you know that you do and that we do, certain risks, including ourselves. You know, you know, right? Our name, we ourselves are branded by itself, correct? Every one of them, every one of you individual, you have your own name, right? So do you think there's like certain risks involved in terms of your own name, your own reputation? Now, if you were to exploit that in the company's point of view, then certainly there are a lot of risks involved, especially in today's context, when we're talking about what? Digitalization. When things are getting like a split of seconds, your news get out there, you know? So I think, I believe, I think last year or the year before, uh, United Airlines and how they dragged passengers out, I believe most of us actually watch the YouTube, right? And you know what happened after that? Okay? And of course the recent saga, Facebook saga. Okay? That's the recent saga itself. We we can reach analytics. Okay, I think all this actually affect the brands, one way or another. Okay? And of course when it affects the brands, it affects the shares, it affects the finance. And that's where uh Samir, Samir Dixie we have known for many years, I mean a couple of years, I mean four to five years now. I think you'll be able to share insights on how we can actually mitigate the risk together with our panel of speakers over here. So I think today, you will not hear a lot from me, <laughs> it's more of the introduction, but definitely from our panel of speakers, I hope that you'll be able to, to, to pick up something good, something new that you can actually use you know, in your course of work with uh, Now before I go, um, why don't you give a round of applause to Prank Finance and MI Star, because it really is it's quite a tedious process uh, to put up something like that, especially for the past four years that MIS have been partnering brand finance to bring across this forum. So please give a round of applause to Samuel Dixie, our good friend. <laughs> okay, so I think enough of that, I think you want to hear from the speakers, not from me, right? Correct? I'm not going to stay here. <laughs> okay, anyway, thank you everyone, thanks. Please find out more about brand finance and MIS, our personnel will be around, so if there's anything that you need to know, uh, you can always